I'm meteorologist Holly Strano. It is Wednesday, June 22nd, and we have got another hot, humid day on our hands. Man, starting off this morning with lots of heat and humidity, most of you were already approaching normal highs earlier. Relief is on the way, though, so do hang in. As we get a look at your yard work forecast, you'll notice a caution today, some of that due to the heat and humidity. And then, of course, there is the possibility of some scattered showers and storms later. So I'll pinpoint exactly what we're thinking as far as time. But then tomorrow, Friday, even Saturday, looking like you're going to have some great gardening days. I'll get into specifics in your seven day forecast coming up. But from earlier this morning, already in that upper 70 to low 80 range. And the real issue is that humidity. If it were dry and we were talking no humidity, it'd be a whole different story. But dew points well into the 60s. We felt that humidity build throughout yesterday and are certainly feeling it this morning. And when you take that into account, we will have heat index values once again. No heat advisories, but we're still talking cooling centers across the area in a day where if you're not hydrating, you're going to notice it. You are. We're not going to touch the record. It was 98 degrees, record high in this state. 82 is the average. Like I said, most of you were already there this morning and we'll hit 89. And some of you will be in that low 90 range. What's really worth noting is on our regional map, we do see cooler air and this is going to have an impact on our seven day. But we've got some heat and humidity to get through before it works its way in. Over the next 24 hours, there'll be some significant changes that you notice. And in fact, by tomorrow morning, you're going to feel a big difference, so much so you might have the AC off. Today, probably not the case. So our timeline shows a partly to mostly sunny sky. Upper 80s, low 90s, hot, humid. If you're golfing, hydrate. Could be talking some storm chances into the afternoon. Again, it is going to be hit and miss. Some of you will see it, some of you won't. So the same thing applies to grilling. I'm putting the caution up there, especially for earlier in the evening where that potential will be there. So we're dealing with a lot of clear skies initially here, lots of sunshine to start the day. Then as we go hour by hour on our National Design Mart forecast, we start to see these downpours and storms, especially inland. I'm not going to rule out the chance. It'll be more isolated close to the lakeshore, but possible. And once we're past dinner time, we start to clear. So we're looking at a much different way to kick off your Thursday. In fact, temperatures will feel seasonal in the 60s. The humidity is going to be lower. It truly will feel like an entirely different world come tomorrow morning. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. And tomorrow, if you'd want to ever bottle up a day in June, I'm, I'm quite certain it's going to be the one. Upper 70s, Sunny skies, low humidity, it looks amazing. We'll be in the low 80s and have a beautiful day on Friday with more sunshine. And then a bit of heat for the weekend, but the nice thing about it is it's not extreme by any stretch. We'll be in the mid to upper 80s. We'll see partly cloudy skies. That storm chance on Sunday comes later in the day. So most of your outdoor plans through the whole weekend should be good to go. If you've got graduations planned or maybe a wedding to go to that's outdoors, whatever the case may be. And it's hard to believe, but we're a week out from the 4th of July. And on Monday, when we're exactly one week out, we're looking at more refreshing air in place. Partly cloudy skies in the 70s on Monday, upper 70s and sunny. Tuesday looks terrific. We'll keep you updated as always. In the meantime, enjoy this day. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Don't forget the sunscreen. Have a great Wednesday.